So this is Oz, he just had a bath, and the big things before drying to think of is that you want to towel dry as much as you can. The more you can get off of the puppy with the towel, the quicker they're going to dry, the easier it is for them to dry. And places you really want to try and towel dry really good are the ears. And the feet, especially the under parts of the feet, if they haven't been clipped yet, they have all that long hair, those can be really hard to dry. Um, he's on the grooming table. He's in the noose. Never ever leave a dog on the table unattended. Um, not until they're really well trained. You know they would never fall off. But what this does is it helps keep him still and gives me one extra hand to use when I'm drying him. So I'm going to use my high velocity dryer, which is, this is one of my dryers. I like this one because it has a low and a high setting. I can dial it up or down. And what I want to do is take my dryer and I'm going to use the nozzle, not really close. And what I'm going to do is hold it, <laughs> I was, um, so the hair blows in a circle away from the air. And uh, you'll see that once I get it going. And uh, what that does is it blows the hair straight. So now if I was going to do like a show quality finish, I would then go to a stand dryer after or a hair dryer to get the final dry and I would brush that coat really straight. But this is just a bath and a dry for him so I'm just going to blow dry it as straight as I can and do a little brushing um, once he's mostly dry while I finish drying. And I will videotape some of that to show you what I'm doing. Okay, so while I'm drying you can see how the hair blows out and I'm going to work on one spot until it's dry and then move from section to section. I want to do the shortest hair first so that it doesn't dry on its own so that it can dry straight. And as it dries I'll go in there with my brush and I will brush it out a little bit as well. 